What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the numbers 51, 49. Those numbers have no real significance besides the fact that they're odds. And you need to remember that no matter how hard life gets, and no matter how good and easy life gets that you always need to fight and move forward like your odds are 51 to 49. If your life gets hard, gets difficult, you feel like there's no way out, you feel like the odds are against you, then you need to fight like it's 51 to 49. Always have the mindset that it's close, have the mindset that you're going to get there, have the mindset that there is a chance, that there is a way to get there. If your life is going easy and good, you can't stop fighting, you can't stop moving forward, you can't stop growing and pushing. You need to fight like those odds are still 51 to 49. Like you're about to lose it, like you're about to lose everything that's good. If you always have the mentality of fighting, like every situation in your life is 51 to 49, you're always gonna be pushing and moving forward. When the odds aren't in your favor and you are the 49, you need to learn more and still grow. Keep pushing, keep fighting, learn new things, better yourself, become a better person and become stronger and continue to pursue whatever it is that you're chasing. And when the odds are in your favor and you are that 51, you need to fight to do things better, to do it more, to push harder, to go faster, and to continue to pursue that like you're about to lose it because it's so close. The odds aren't even, it's not 50-50. And the odds aren't ultimately in your favor and the odds ultimately aren't against you. They're neck and neck, always. I said in the last video, you don't have the power to choose the actual destination of your life, but you do have the power to choose the outcome and whether or not it's gonna be a positive one or a negative one. You have the power to be that 51 and live there. You have the power to be the 49 and give up and lose consistently if you're not motivated enough to move forward. In every situation, in every choice, in every thought, in every action, there is at least a little bit of hope, a little bit of positivity, and a little bit of something good that is there. Whether it's good for your life, for others, whether it's good for a circumstance or something that's going to help you or move you along or inspire somebody else, there is always something good that comes out of it. Even if there's nothing good that you can take from it, the one thing you can take is a lesson to learn, to do better, to do things differently next time. That is a positive so you don't do it again because you make a mistake, you don't do it again, you learn from it. That is the positive part of it is that you will take that lesson with you. And in other times when things seem bleak or dull, I've used this metaphor before and is one that I'm passionate about because I 100% believe it and it honestly makes sense. In any dark sky, if you're not able to see any stars, you only see one, it's North Star. Because the sky is black, there's no other glimpses of light, but the only thing that's there is the North Star. And people use that North Star to point them in the direction that is North, to point them in the direction that they're supposed to go. They may not be going North, they may be going South, East, West. But the point is, even if they're not going North, they use that as a beacon that, okay, if I'm going this way, and the North Star is on my right, I'm going West. If the North Star is behind me, that means I'm going south. They use it as a beacon and as a tool to point them in the direction that they need to go. So when you have a bad circumstance, if your life is dark and you don't see any glimpses of hope, find that one. Take the time to sit back and find the positivity. Find what good can come from it. Find what lesson there is to be learned. Find what ways you can move forward, do better, be better, and just be a better person for next time when the circumstance comes up, you won't make the same mistakes. You won't make the same wrong choices and give yourself the power to choose a more positive outcome and use that little bit of light and let it guide your way through life. Let it guide your way through the next situation. Let it guide your way through the dark times. Let it guide your way through anything and everything that is bad in your life. Put positivity in your ears. Look back at your mistakes. Learn your lessons and have a plan for next time. Sit down, write down your flaws. It might suck to write them down and realize what you're bad at or what's bad about you, but write those down and strive to change those, to become a better person, to learn more and do more. That is the only thing you can do when you feel stuck. That's the only thing you can do when you feel like it's dark. And what that does is if there's other people in that place with you, in that dark place where they're stuck and they don't know where to go and they don't know what direction to take in their life and they don't know how to get out of where they're at, you're going to be the match. You're gonna be the one that's struck, lit in a dark room, the one little tiny flame. And that light is going to shine on others. It's gonna motivate and inspire and lift other people up and encourage others that they can do it too, that they can move past that, that nothing in this world is greater than having a positive mindset, than fighting it, than moving forward, and then choosing your own path, choosing the way you're going to react to things, choosing the way that you are going to be and how you're going to present yourself to the world and present yourself to others. Because you do have the power 
You have the strength. You just have to utilize it. You have to grow that positive mentality that you can get through things and declare that every single day is, is today is a new day. I am going to choose to make it a positive one. I'm going to ignore the haters. I'm going to ignore the people that look down on me. I'm going to ignore the people who have a distaste for me. I am going to live my life so that I am happy, so that my life is positive, and so that the people I love and care about know that there is a way to be positive, there is a positive lifestyle to be had, and there is happiness that you can achieve. That is the ultimate goal of having a positive mindset, is ignoring the negativity and gaining the positivity and utilizing that to block out the negativity. Finding ways to defeat those odds Finding ways to be the 51, not the 49. Finding ways to put yourself in the better favor. Those numbers are only two points off from flipping. And you wanna know what those two things are? Positivity, happiness. You can be 51, 49 and have just positivity. Now your odds are 50, 50. But are you still happy? You can have happiness and not positivity, still be 50, 50 because you are happy but are you positive? Once you have that positivity and that happiness and you strive for that and you go for that every day and you have that in your life, the odds are gonna be in your favor. And even if they're in your favor, just remember to continue to fight, to keep it better, to keep it moving forward, to keep it as good as it can be, and to maintain your positivity, happiness, and that healthy, positive mindset. So guys, with that being said, just remember no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow's a brand new day, the choice is yours to go out and be more. Peace.